Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, In this video, I will show you how to um, calculate mathematics of finance with a multiple cash flow So this is part 2 Alright, uh, in this chapter, we will focus on multiple cash flow Alright, in previously you are study future value and present value using a, a single period, single cash flow. So this is a multiple cash flow and in the cash flow they have a concept of annuities and also perpetuities. Alright, let's we start for the first example for multiple cash flow for present value. Okay. Suppose you invest in 5 Okay, so suppose you invest in 500 uh, Dollar in today, alright The keyword is today and 600 dollar in one year Okay So you will see that if you If you the fund pay 9% annual interest So how much do you will have in a Two years okay so if you using the formula so you will get 500 so you get um, 1.09 and the number of period is and then you calculate for the second period is 600 using the formula but you can also using the calculator so you get will you get the same answer here right so you will get the same answer Alright, but in this example, I can show you in the timeline. It's very to you to understand. So you draw the timeline. So you uh, get year zero today because the word is today. So today five hundred. So today means in a n zero. Okay, and then in a one year. So it will be six hundred. So you will get 594.05954. So you total up, you get the future value is 1248.05. Okay. Alright. So we go for multiple cash flow. We continue the example one. So he said that how much you will have uh in five years if you have no further deposit. Alright, how much do you will have? Okay, how much do you will have if you have how much you will have in five years if you are made no further deposit? Alright, so you can use a simple way. Okay, 500, 600. So you can get 1616.26. Okay, so you can have a first way and second way. Okay, first, second way you are continue from the this one. Okay, okay, so you will get also the same, but will you see the difference is the number of n. All right. Okay, so we can see use timeline. First one, you can see seven six nine seven six nine point three one. 846.95 Okay, so this is the ordinary one Use the simple formula 5 See, the number of n is a 5 And number n of 4 5 minus 1 is number 4 Okay, so be careful here Right, you will get 1616.26 Okay Alright But how about we are using from this one, we already calculate in the first slide. So we just continue, but you will see it here. So it is different. 2, 5. So you will get here. Okay. So you will also same get 1616.26. Okay. So that is how to calculate. Use just simple formula of future value. So you will get, you do a period by period. Alright. Okay. So 
you must make sure that your elements you have a number of interest number of period and then future value so use your future value formula so you will get a future value all right and then you need to total up you must be total up okay you must total up both you cannot just leave it the answer 594.05 and 654.00 you must be total up that okay all right i hope that you understand this one is only using the simple formula same one okay so this one is also using the simple a future value formula okay all right now we go for the second example suppose you plan to deposit hundred dollar into account in one year and three hundred dollar into account at three in three years okay so how much will be in the account in the five years if the interest rate is eight percent so we have the cash flow here because you can see in one year in three years so this is the use a simple formula okay and then you need to use a this formula okay this one you will see one year and this is also three years you see the number of year here is four and the number of year is two okay so you need to be careful because it requests you in a five years but i will show you in the timeline so you see he want in year five and you need to you deposit in year one in year three so the number of year is four number of year is two so you need to be careful here so you will get 100 300 and then you will get the future value you need to total up so you will get 485.97